tar spot is just beginning to surface in Michigan in 2020. So far this year, the disease has only been detected in Gratiot County. While it is a reminder for growers to scout their fields, Michigan State University's Martin Chilvers says it's too soon to spray. Here in Michigan, uh, we've had a confirmation in Gratiot County. Really low incidence, and I, I think I should say that for across the country, actually. Very low incidence and severity, right? So nothing to get super freaked out about and go out and spray today. I want to make sure we're really clear on that. Uh, but what we're trying to do is use this as an educational sort of opportunity to make sure you go out and scout and be aware of where tar spots turning up. In 2018, we probably would have benefited from maybe that R1 fungicide timing. Um, in 2019, there were some instances, and this was really surprising to me, that at, at the very initial start of R5, so this is the beginning of dent, just the very beginning of dent, it was demonstrating we're able to protect 20 bushels um, by making that application that late. And that's incredibly late, and we really wouldn't recommend that as a standard timing by any means. But uh, what we're trying to get people to think about is, you know, it might not be at R1. Uh, this year, we might have to wait until maybe R3, maybe R4 to spray. Uh, again, really paying very close attention to task spot, um, you know, in those particular fields, because it's going to vary from field to field as well. In terms of identifying tar spot anyway, um, we have had misdiagnosis with like bug poop, especially earlier in the season, right? It'll, it'll produce that little black specking on the plant. So, so to distinguish that from tar spot, um, see if you can rub that off. Um, bug poop will typically rub off with a little bit of water or something off the leaf. Tar spot, what you're looking at is the fungal fruiting structure, right? And it's embedded in the leaf. So it won't rub off. And very often it will be protruding through the other side of the leaf. And if you're uncertain, um, get in touch with me or, or the diagnostic uh, plant, MSU plant diagnostic services um, to help get you a confirmation on that. But don't forget to, to look for grey leaf spot, northern leaf blight. Um, you know, northern leaf blight, we're looking for sort of cigar-shaped lesions, uh, grey leaf spot, and typically within the veins, um, lesions sort of contained. Um, you know, again, when we're at, at silking, that's a good time to be out there looking for those diseases, seeing if there's there's much that's up on the ear leaf. If there is, I would maybe consider a fungicide application. We're starting to see pressure that's that's moved up in the upper canopy. Again, I think we want to be trying to protect that that ear leaf and up primarily in terms of canopy. And in terms of where we scout, um, particularly back to task, but, you know, look all over the plant, right? There may be lesions just in the lower part of the canopy where it might have blown in later in the season and you might be finding it higher than the canopy. For help diagnosing tar spot, contact MSU Plant and Pest Diagnostics.